Hello, good morning, my dear students. Today we shall study chapter three about environment and society. What is environment? Environment is the surrounding in which an organization operates, including air, water, land, natural resources, flora, fauna, human beings, and their interrelation. Surrounding in this context extend from within an organization to the global system. So, environment means the surroundings of which are around us, like water, air, land, and interconnected with human beings, living organisms, and materials. For example, when you look around you, what you see, if you are in a classroom, you may see students in uniform sitting on benches with books open on their desk. There are school bags with lunch and pencil boxes. Ceiling fans might be whirring overhead. Have you ever thought about where these things, school, clothes, furniture, bags, electricity come from? If you trace their origins, you will find that, that the source of each material object lies in nature. Every day we use objects whose production draws up for natural resources from around the world and also you can have a look at the meaning of environment the word environment is derived from the french word environnement which means to encircle or to surround the most suitable definition of environment is as follows it is the sum total of water air and land and the interrelationships that exist among them with human beings, other living organisms, and materials. What is society? Societies are groups of people who directly or indirectly interact with each other. People in human societies also generally perceive that their society is distinct from other societies in terms of share traditions and expectations. So society means it is a large group of people sharing the same geographical territory, common culture, social structure and also to abide by the same laws. Easy understanding you can have a look at the meaning of society. The term society is derived from the Latin word socius which means companionship or friendship. Two primary components of the society are its culture and its social structure. Society is one of the basic sociological terms. In simple sense, society is a large grouping that shares the same geographical territory, shares a common culture and social structure, and expected to abide by the same laws. Now let us look at the meaning of ecology and its definition. Ecology is the study of the interactions of living organisms with one another and with their physical environment, that is, living things and soil, air, water. For example, mountains and rivers, plains and oceans, and the flora and fauna that they support are a part of ecology. The ecology of a place is also affected by the interaction between its geography and hydrology. For example, the plant and animal life unique to a desert is adapted to its scarce rainfall, rocky or sandy soils, and extreme temperatures. Let us now look into the major environmental problems and risks. Although the relative importance or urgency of different environmental hazards may vary from country to country and context to context, the following are globally recognized as the main ones. A. Resource depletion B. Pollution C. Global warming D. Genetically modified organisms E. Natural and man-made environmental disasters let us now look into 
what is resource depletion i have given you the three examples a aquifers b rivers c deforestation the first is aquifers aquifers which have accumulated water over hundreds and thousands of years are being emptied in matter of a few decades to meet the growing demands of intensive agriculture industry and urban centers b rivers rivers have also been dammed and diverted causing irreversible damage to the ecology of water basins c deforestation biodiversity habitats such as forests grasslands and wetlands are the other major resource facing rapid depletion largely due to the expansion of areas under agriculture you can have a look at the picture for the example for the first that is aquifer the second is the river where a river have been dammed and the third is the deforestation where a large plot of land or the forest have been cleared for agriculture or for the various purposes coming to the next point b pollution we have three examples on the pollution air pollution water pollution and noise pollution under air pollution air pollution is considered to be a major environmental problem in urban and rural areas causing respiratory and other problems which result in serious illness and death the sources of air pollution include emissions from industries and vehicles as well as the burning of wood and coal for domestic use water pollution is also a serious issue affecting surface as well as ground water major sources include not only domestic sewage and factory effluents but also the run off from farms where large amounts of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides are used the third is noise pollution cities also suffer from noise pollution which has been the subject of court orders in many cities sources include amplified loudspeakers used at religious and cultural events political campaigns vehicle horns traffic and construction work you can have a look at the picture of the air pollution and the next picture is the water have been polluted and the third is the noise pollution the rest when we speak of global warming mainly it comes to climate change now what is climate change climate change refers to long term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns these shifts may be natural but since the 1800s human activities have been the main driver of climate change primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels like coal oil and gas which produces heat trapping gases like carbon dioxide methane etc this has caused a small but significant rise in global temperatures okay you can have a look at the picture of the climate change and this climate change is resulting or the projecting to melting of polar ice fields and raise the sea level thus submerging low lying coastal areas and more important affecting the ecological balance for example China and India are increasingly significant contributors to world carbon and greenhouse gas emissions.
and the next is e natural and man made environmental disasters and you can have at the look at the picture of the natural disaster the first is flood second is tsunami the third is earthquake and the most recent example for natural disaster is the tsunami that took place in 2004 killed thousands of people and the most recent example for man made disaster is the bhopal disaster of 1984 killed about 4000 people where a toxic gas leaked from the union carbide factory and the last is why environmental problems are also social problems how environmental problems affect different groups is a function of social inequality social status and power determine the extent to which people can insulate themselves from environmental crisis or overcome it in some cases the solutions may actually worsen environmental disparities for example in kutch gujarat where water is scarce richer farmers have invested in deep bore tube wells to tap ground water to irrigate their fields and grow cash crops when the rains fail the earthen wells of the poorer villages run dry and they do not even have water to drink so to overcome this i would conclude the chapter with a few thoughts environmental problems are really social problems anyway they begin with people as the cause and end with people as the victims the next solution is all our environmental problems become easier to solve with fewer people and harder and ultimately impossible to solve with ever more people and students that's all for today and for more information you can read chapter 3 environment and society and the assignment i will be sending you regularly and you can study for the exams thank you that's all for today and have a nice day